Hey guys, this is Josh. This is Tony. We have John and Mikey behind you guys. We're going to do it a little different today. Today, we have something. Our third. Our third Universal Yums. <laughs> I don't want to show our address. So, it comes with a little sticker. Gives you a little hint of what it is. If you can't guess, it looks like it's going to be Egypt, but let's open it and find okay. out. Ready? Yep. And then we try Grab it. a side. Grab it. One, two, three. And it's Egypt. It is Egypt, guys. So, in here, it comes with, it looks like there's more snacks. The Mediterranean cool. Sea. Cairo. Wow. It is pretty cool. There's a lot in here. So. Wow. Holy cow. Well, start with you this guys want to do a little trivia challenge with this? No, because I'm stupid. We'll just try them. We'll just try everything. Brian, he loves uh, trivia. Oh. Trivia. Oh. We'll oh. give you trivia. Oh, I didn't know that. All right, guys. So we're going to try the snacks here. We'll try those with Universal first? Lums. We're no, we're going to go in with what what order about? Oh. We're going to try Tiger. Okay. It looks like a lemon chili. Uh, I, I don't know how spicy it's gonna be. It was once. So let's try this out. Oh, it's not bad. Oh, it's this is just recently made too. It was produced in April. Oh, they're just chips. Mm. Okay, I'm giving it to the ready? guys over there. Me and him are going to try first, and then you guys. Ready? Go. It's not bad. It's different. You want to try another one? No. It's kind of spicy to me. It's not bad. It's, it's spicy. Kind of like it. It's like a like a lemon, like lemon lime flavor or something. Heavy lemon, light lime. It kind of tastes like a non-spicy taquitos. Did we show this already? Yes. All right, turn around. So we're gonna turn it around. It smells just like a plain chip. Yeah, not much. There's no okay. smell to it, right? Not bad. What would you rate that on the spicy scale, guys? I'd rate it like a one. Yeah, like a one. Probably a one. Yeah, I like a soft one. But the actual chips, mm -hmm. I give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up for you guys? I say thumbs up. Like the first bite tastes like Lemon. almost like a bean burrito kind of sort of like with with the with the hot sauce in it. Like if you get the old way Taco Bell did it, that's what that's what it reminded me of at first. So literally, when I bit into it, it tastes like a lemon. A little bit of lime and then the chili. See, mm -hmm. I taste all. I only tasted chili the first bite. I didn't taste no lime. Like little lime, like lemon, lime. No, just I just got chili. What do you What do you give it? Like a thumbs up, thumbs down? Yeah, I give it a thumbs up too. It we give it a thumbs up as well. I give it a thumbs up. Yeah, tastes it like a ruffles. All right, so we're gonna let them go first over the next one. Is it those? Yeah, the next one is Conan popcorn burning barbecue. Burning barbecue. Why? Wow, they don't look like hot stuff over there. Hi right, guys, this is the. I've never known you get to do this. It says burning barbecue. It's got a chili pepper, so. Oh god, here we go. Josh, I thought you said one thing. I have no. We're only on two. You'll be fine. All right, these look like they have black pepper sprinkled on them. Oh, it oh my god. Pop them. Here you go. Pass that to the guys. It smells spicy to me. It does smell spicy. All right, oh one, two, right. three. What do you guys it's think? It's actually kind of sweet. Yeah, it's more sweet. I mean, there's a little, a very little kick, but nothing, mm -hmm. nothing too bad. All right, ready? Yep. Right off the bat. It <laughs> 
Mm. Right off the bat, it kind of smells sweet and a little spicy. Oh. It smells spicy, right? Well, like it smells like mm. it's gonna be super spicy. It just shoved in his mouth. <gasps> to be honest, you know what it really <clears throat> reminds me of? It's terrible. It reminds me of crab. I don't know why I get the crab flavor in there. Maybe it, it was like it, maybe. it tastes like crab straight yeah. off the bat, like hot crab, like a, a, a crab and jalapeno or something. I can see that. It, to me, it tastes literally like I just like that crab cake I had the other day. Your, your house, yeah, it they have a like little, with the hot sauce. It tastes like I ate that with some chili. Huh? It's not bad. I like it. I give it a thumbs up. You can definitely taste the chili in both these both yeah. these products. Last two products for sure. Definite thumbs up for the popcorn. This the next one? Yep. This is the next thing on the list. Okay, let's do that. It is called uh, Saka, uh, Sakalin. It looks like. It is wafers filled with halva and coffee cream. Mmm, sounds good. That sounds delicious. I like anything coffee, and uh, Mediterranean coffee is a is a thicker um, thicker. It's th no, it's thick. It is it's, thicker. It's, it's, it's almost a, like a. Uh, it's a strong coffee. Okay, so how we're gonna do this is just break little pieces. We'll try them first this so time. Don't eat it yet. Hold on. Well, <laughs> I guess we're gonna split the rest. It smells more like a chocolate. Oh, so good. right off the bat, you can smell like the coffee, like coffee bean. It a smells like bit. I'm I'm ruffling through like coffee beans, mm -hmm. and you can smell a little bit of like the the halva. You ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. It tastes worse than the, the. It smells good. It doesn't taste good though. Like so, I've never had a halawa. It's beautiful. But I don't know what it is. Halva. Halawa. Halva. H a l v a. Halva. H a h a l a w a. It's almost so terrible. Ooh. Oh. Um, it's strong. Man, I'm bitter. So I really like the coffee taste in it and the little bit of cream they give it with the wafer. I think there could have been a little more. But overall, I, I like it. As weird as it sounds, you don't like it, do you? That's a no It's too you. bitter for me. I like it. If I wanted like a coffee snack and I was in that area, I would go there for that. That's cool. I mean, it's not terrible. Don't get me wrong. It's not terrible. But it's it's yeah. nothing so I would really do again. Like so right off the bat, I don't smell coffee. I, I just smell, smell it smells like now, a vanilla yeah, wafer. It's just think smell like coffee beans. I don't like coffee beans. I don't, it just smells like a wafer to me. It doesn't. Me too. I'll taste it. One, two, three. I didn't like it. It has a bad aftertaste to me. It's definitely a coffee flavor when you take a bite. You know what, so there's sesame paste in that, I can definitely taste that. I can definitely taste sesame. There's sesame paste in the ingredients, I can definitely taste that. The aftertaste is pretty... Which ingredient? It's not good. Yeah. Is it that one next? It tastes like... Yeah, it does good. taste like coffee, really strong coffee taste, coffee flavor, but... I mean, I, I wouldn't give it a thumbs down, but I, I'd give it a sideways, like, it's not something I would eat, but... It's a strong, uh, weird aftertaste. Has a weirdly, it would weird definitely aftertaste. have to be a thumbs down for me, guys. That's really not. Yeah, I mean, that's not the best. The first thing bite tastes amazing. Mm. First bite <laughs> tastes really good. After that, not so much. Yeah, like after you got done chewing and swallowed it, it's like what was left was like. Next up is the du uh, Duetto. It is a biscuit cookie with a date filling. <laughs> so, you know what? Just looking at it, it looks like a uh, fig. A fig Newton. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's with dates instead of figs. Completely different taste. Um. Let's see how they have this. So I guess we're gonna split one. Cause there's yeah. two. Yeah. It smells yeah. like a fig Newton. It looks kind of like looks just like a fig Newton burger. Oh, and here's the here's the cake here's the packaging. Sorry, I tore it already. It smells like it's going to be pretty ranchy. <laughs> One, two, three. It 
It tastes just like a fig newton to me. It really doesn't. I don't mm-hmm. really get that date taste. Hmm. But is it good? <clears throat> the it's really biscuit, dry. It's yeah, really it's super dry. super dry. Really powdery, like really crummy. Crummy, like, like or when crumbly. you t- no crummy, like like you put in your mouth, it's like pow- like almost like powder, like on the outside of the biscuit. Huh. It's like a powder almost. So yes or no for you guys? Uh, no, I'll give it a thumbs up, but I'm not. Gonna, I'll give it yeah, same. It's not bad. It, it kind of like smells like date. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. Ready? One, mm-hmm. two, three. I see what he means by now. By that. Real grainy. Not grainy, but crummy. It crumbles. It's like, really it's like a powder. It's like you put powder in your mouth almost for a second. Super dry. It's not bad. I like it. I like stuff like that, though. So it does, to me, it doesn't taste like a fig Newton. It literally, well, a it doesn't bit. taste like a fig. It tastes like a date. a date in like a fig Newton crust, but it's more crumbly. So, I mean, I like it. I think uh, it's really dry. Mm-hmm. But I like it. I give it a thumbs up. Mm-hmm. I like it. All right. Next up is Kono Puffs Crazy Tomato. Oh, They got butter cookies in here. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> it's a whip in there. <laughs> it literally smells in this bag like tomato. Like I opened up a can of Campbell's tomato soup. It smells like tomato soup. It smells like ketchup. Yeah. So it, yeah. at first, it literally looks like a like a cheap Cheeto with no Cheeto dust on it. Yeah, kind of. But let's give it a taste. Look at all the dust. Ready? One, two, two, it's three. Like off brand Cheeto. <laughs> tastes like ketchup on a on a buff. Thing. It literally tastes like I opened a can of tomato sauce or tomato soup. Yeah. I didn't pour it out. I didn't add water. I took a spoon and went. That's what it smells like or tastes like. Mm-hmm. I agree. It, I mean, it's not. It's not terrible. I, I would not. It. I would not get it again. That's a thumbs down for me. I I give that a thumbs up. I like it. Weird. Oh. All right. So yeah, I definitely, I definitely get the whole. Uh, this one just definitely smells like a canned tomato soup. Yeah, just ketchup. Just it's straight. straight. And it, look, and like it looks to me like a really like an off-brand Cheeto. <clears throat> I like it. Like they just gave up on this batch of Cheetos. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's you go. Ready? Oh god. <laughs> that was weird, man. Right? It even tastes like the can. Yeah, it does. Like it's it's literally like you put a cracker and set it in tomato juice. Yep. Sure does. That's exactly what it t- smelled like. Thumbs it up for me though, I liked it. Yeah, I I mean I would get it again. Yeah, I liked it. Thumbs up. Alright, next up. It's the El Shamadan Crispy Wafer. It's a wafer biscuit filled with chocolate and coated with white chocolate. Ooh, I love white chocolate. That's what it looks like. If you can see it. Josh, can you see it okay? Okay. You don't have any allergies, do you? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> we start eating all this. All this stuff <laughs> that we don't even know what it is. So it looks, looks like. like break yeah. So it's literally. Uh, looks like a white chocolate it's wafer. It's chocolate covered. It's a chocolate stuffed mm-hmm. wafer covered in white chocolate. Mm-hmm. It definitely You can definitely smell chocolate. Mm-hmm. I don't. I mean, white chocolate has a different smell. I don't really smell the white chocolate so much. It also has co- cocoa cream. Hmm. Yeah, definitely. It's uh, I mean, it's definitely chocolate. All right, ready? Cheers. A lot of wafers in it. You know what's that? Mmm. Mmm. You don't like it? Is it like a 
Is it a sweet chocolate or does it taste like cocoa, like a dark chocolate? I liked it. I mean, to me, it tastes more like coffee. <laughs> it's definitely dark cocoa. Mm hmm. So it's not it's sweet. Good. It's not really sweet. Good. The sweetness is comes from the white chocolate. Does it yeah. come? At, does it have an aftertaste? Yes. But it I does have. Like they all have the. It has aftertaste. an aftertaste. It definitely has that like. Uh, it just tastes like a wafer aftertaste. You know, just like a ray or wafer. Is it edible? I mean, would you buy this in a store? Would you get it again? And... Would I get this again? No. You say yes. I really like it. I really wanted to like it. That chocolate just, I don't know, it tastes, it's, I don't like so the bitter chocolate. I would say, it's, what, a thumbs down for you then? Thumbs down for me. And a thumbs up for you? Thumbs up for me, I like it. <clears throat> Alright guys, right off the bat, I can't really smell anything. Mm -mm. It is very sticky though, like it melts easily with your fingers. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. The texture kind of reminds me of a Kit Kat almost, just a softer Kit Kat. Tastes like a zebra cake, but way for A little bit. I like it. It's strange. I'm not used to that taste. But it's not bad. See what I mean about the inside has a... It does like, taste like coffee. It's like a, yeah, see? It's a cocoa. I think it's because it's, it's the cocoa. Cream. I think it's because it's a, a, such a bitter chocolate. It's a, definitely a dark chocolate. If I wanted a chocolate fix, that's what I would get. Really? Hmm. I like it. Yeah, I like it. I typically don't like wafers. I was pretty good. What's next? Next up is a chocolate wave hazelnut. It's chocolate covered wafer with hazelnut cream. No, I do. Man, this is gonna be good. I love hazelnut. It looks to be like the same brand as the other but, one. But um, I don't. No. There's so I think this this the brand is like a lot, in a lot of places around the world with really different flavors. And I think this is just like a, a flavor that's in the Middle East, I guess. In it's that popular area. there. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how it's hot. Is well, Egypt. Yeah. I have never been to Egypt, so it's also really it's melting cold. a little and bit. And chocolate is gone off of one side. <laughs> yeah, both sides really. I'm. Just oh my goodness. Is it melted? Oh no. Yeah. Big time. Guys. Oh, it melted. We're not gonna get the full thing. It melted from outside. Yeah. It wasn't, wasn't outside, outside long. It was in the U UPS truck or whatever. It was. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Looks okay. like mean like <laughs> <laughs> looks like Sadie. Oh, no. It doesn't smell like anything. <laughs> oh, it looks so... <laughs> Ready? It looks so raunchy. <laughs> go. It looks raunchy. Man, that's like... the worst piece for us, too. We that's, go. that's the best thing we've had so far. I love hazelnut. You can ask him when I get coffee, it's hazelnut or mm. vanilla. Mm-hmm. Here, put your finger down on my side. Great to pop it. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna that is good. Wow, is that good. Thumbs up for me. What about you? <laughs> that thumbs up for sure. That's the best thing you've had so sure far. It's chocolate. <laughs> but it does have a funny aftertaste now. Alright. Alright, guys. So. <laughs> oh, God. As you can see, they saved the worst one for me. <laughs> But we love you, Mikey. There's, Thanks, guys. There is like no chocolate on it. <laughs> I feel anybody? dirty eating this. I feel like I feel like a baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I mean, you can definitely tell smell the hazelnut. From what's yes. left of it. Yeah. It has a funny. How your wafers go? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, ready? Yep. Go. Hmm. Not bad. It is those wafers. That's what it, that weird taste is. Mm -hmm. It tastes like an off-brand Nutella. It's definitely like a it very has an rich aftertaste chocolate in. taste. Yeah, it's very rich. It just looks like. What's next? All right, they gotta do that one. Thumbs up for you guys. Thumbs down. Thumbs up for me. Little messy. Little messy. It ain't messy. It's, it's waving. It's down. 
Next up is a Garo bar. It's a Garo coconut bar. It's chocolate covered coconut bar. Oh. Can you show me the? Mm-hmm. I like coconut, but I'm kind of over the chocolate in this place. Both these things are that, and the wafer. Mm-hmm. Um, excuse the interruption. I think this is child. <laughs> I think this is child. Child proof. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's like, get this away from me. <laughs> oh my god, John. What? Here you guys go. It's, it's hey, tiny. I'm glad this one's a small piece. Yeah, it's fine. I like coconut. I'm you not can a fan sm- of coconut. I love coconut. Cocoa you can smell the coconut. You don't like coconut? I don't like coconut. It's straight up coconut. Straight up All coconut. Alright, here we go. Here go. Cheers. <laughs> but he's like, Ugh. <laughs> it doesn't have a strong coconut taste. <clears throat> really? Is that a bowl? I still don't taste coconut. It re- it reminds me of, it reminds chocolate. me of an almond joy. I just taste chocolate. Mm-hmm. Like an almond joy with less. Yeah, definitely not so much coconut. I can tell, taste the chocolate more than. Hmm. All right. I mean, it'd be a thumbs up for me. After it, it's all said and done, you can, the aftertaste is coconut. Ready? Yep. Here we go. I don't smell a freaking thing. Do you? Uh-huh, there's nothing. What? Do the aftertaste. I did not get that. It was like a nougat texture. It looks soft you know, before I put it in my mouth. It looks like marshmallow almost. But it doesn't mm-hmm. have that texture. Mm-mm. So but imagine you took... I coconut. do like it a lot. It's like a creamy almond Imagine boy. you take coconut and you make it very... Like a puff. Like a nougat, nougat, maybe. A super thick nougat. I mean, not airy, like a, a Three Musketeer. I mean, thick. They got down with a thickness. And then covered in chocolate. You can't taste the chocolate. You can't taste the coconut first. Only chocolate. But like Mikey said, after... Towards the end, it's coconut. Yeah, yeah. It's good. good. I like it. I get it again. Thumbs mm-hmm. up for me. Thumbs up. Next right. up are Pretzel Original Butter and Herb Pretzels. It says they are 96% fat free and they're baked and preservative free. You say baked? Baked. I thought you said baked. That's why I was freaking out. Okay, we're good. So this should be interesting because pretzels are my favorite. I like pretzels too. They smell. If it smells like a pretzel and looks like a pretzel, it must be a pretzel. It reminds me. I know they don't know what I'm talking about, but Jewish rye cracker it, bread. Is it even good? It looks is what it smells like. I yeah. don't know. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. I mean, it smells kind of like pretzels. Look at my colors. They like pretzel. I don't taste rye. I taste pretzel. Or it smells like the rye thing. It, if we ever find them in a store, I'm going to get them just to show you what I'm talking about. All right. Because they're baked, probably. They're and baked. They're, and, it's cr- and, it's, and it's powdered with a... So... Oh, I see. Butter. It literally tastes like a regular pretzel I can buy at the store. Like the pretzel bags. Mm-hmm. No salt and like a garlic or butter thing on it. Uh, it's not but bad. There's no salt whatsoever on that. So if you want the salty from the pretzel... That's not for you. But if you want like a healthy snack alternative that tastes a little different, that's really good. I like it. I give it a thumbs up. Yeah. Um, last last time, what did we get last time? It was what? Thailand. I really like Thailand, but I will put this above the UK. So far. Oh, yeah. UK to me is the worst one we had. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Is that pretzel? It's really good. No salt though, right? No, but that garlic and herb really, really the butter and herb really stands out. I like it. Yep, it's really, really good. 
Two thumbs up for that one. It's nice and crunchy. Like it's not soft like some pretzels are. It's it's solid. More tomato soup. <laughs> I like it. I love tomato soup. <laughs> if I melt, I do too, going. but not the can. I like this a lot. I, I would me too. if I could get this in like a family size. Hit me up. The calories I was looking at that bad for you. Well, I, that's what I was trying to look at. It's a hundred calories per serving, but I don't know what a serving is. It's twenty five grams, and I don't. We don't weigh in grams, so. So this itself, this bag is. So I'm, it's not in English. <laughs> that's what I was trying to find yeah, out. It's not. It's, all the bag it's in Egyptian. Because <laughs> <'Cause> it's yeah. <laughs> I think it's thirty five grams, but I could be wrong. This is forty grams. Because it says 35 GMR. 10 grams, and then the whole bag is 45 grams. This says low calorie, so. I mean, 100 calories for a bag, or that's not really, that's not bad. That's low calories. That's good. All right, what's next, pass. boys? Yeah, pass for sure, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Two thumbs up for Send me family size, guys. Family size. The next thing up is classic quality butter cookies, the cinnamon cookie. The cinnamon cookie? Now see, when I think of Egypt, I think of cinnamon, I think of allspice, I think of... Everyone gets thrown because there's 12! Woo! <laughs> what an Actually, everyone can have their own three if they wanted. That one? Thank you. Smells like gingerbread cookie. Oh my god, yeah, it does. It smells like gingerbread. Does it? It's cinnamon. Just like gingerbread. What are you talking about? This goes to you. That's nice. All right, ready? One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ginger snaps. That's what it tastes like. Is it good? More, yeah. more towards gingerbreadish because it's not like, it's not really a cookie texture. It's more like a. Like a hard biscuit texture rather than a like a cookie. It's definitely really good. Mm. Mm. Thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems like it would be like more of a Christmas time mm -hmm. kind of cookie. Something you eat with coffee, maybe. I it's like good. Good. metal it's good. food and. Whoa. It's. So Do you remember those cinnamon candies? I think they're called like fireballs or something. Yeah. That's what it smells like. Mm. To me, it smells like a gingerbread cookie. Mm. Me too. I don't get that. Yeah. Maybe a little bit. I definitely get the ginger. Are you ready? Two, get the weird one, one, two, three. It does not taste like a gingerbread cookie. No. Mm -hmm. it tastes more like a ginger snap. It doesn't taste like ginger snap to me. No. No. It tastes like a butter cookie. I I I, I don't know. The cookie I had was pure cinnamon. Like it, it, it's cinnamon, yes. Strong. Yes. It tastes like a butter cookie with cinnamon all over it. I mean, I get it again. I like it. What do you think? Really about the, what do you even think about the texture? To me, like it's more of a biscuit than a cookie. This tastes like the, a butter cookie, like what we had before with uh, the UK. Had a butter cookie in it. Mm -hmm. That's what it tastes like to me. My, but, but, but a lot of cinnamon. cinnamon. I like it. Thumbs up for me. Mm -hmm. Good. I like it a lot. <clears throat> Next up, we each got the same. Is a spaghetti apple gummy green. Apple strip. That's crazy. Okay. Yep. We each got one, and we're gonna split them in half. We went from cinnamon to sour apple. Granny <laughs> Smith, guys, it's green apple. <laughs> I don't know. Wow. <laughs> Does it smell bad? You want some green apple? Go. Holy cow! I, love I green mean. Apple. That's one of my snacks. Wow, man, this is... It tastes like I took hundreds of green apples and put them into a juice. Is this and supposed to be like sour? It. Green apples are, yep, yeah, green apples are sour. So. Oh my god. Ready, one, two, two three. three. Not sour. Not yet. You gotta get past the cinnamon. Sure, cookie. No, that, it smells stronger than it tastes. I mean, it's... I really like it. It tastes like I'm... Okay. 
So, so the smell is like, it, it smells like an apple orchard. Mm -hmm. But you bite into it and it tastes like... Apple candy. I bit into a diluted apple. Doesn't taste as strong as an apple. Tastes like an eye to me. I like it. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. All right. So... Definitely love the smell. The other one smells like an applesauce. Yeah. Mine's not, I don't think ours is as strong. The smell definitely is not as strong. I mean, it's definitely there, but it's not as intense. Right? Right? Definitely the, ba the box is, is a good box. These are... I mean, I really like it. Huh? This one's been my favorite one out of the box so far. Okay. Nope. Okay. Thumbs up for sure. It definitely, it definitely smells like it's gonna be a lot sweeter than it is. It smells like kind of like a stale apple. I mean, it tastes like a stale apple. Like not super strong. Like a dehydrated apple almost. This is the last thing in the box, guys. Next up is Kona Corn Cones Mind Blowing Pizza. It's a pizza corn snack. You like pizza, right? Mm -hmm. So do I. I like pizza too. When oh, they're like a bugle. Top. Yeah, they look just like bugles. Oh my god, if they were big enough, I'd put them on my fingers. <laughs> when we were kids, we did that. Yep. Pizza flavored bugle, basically. It doesn't really smell like pizza though. It really doesn't. All right, here we go. Mm. Something's definitely mind blowing about that. It definitely does not give me the pizza taste flavor at all. It's more of like a sweet chili, like a Dorito yeah. sweet chili flavor. More of a chili flavor than pizza for no sure. Pizza? Oh God, put one back. I liked it though. I, I mean, would, it's, I would it's definitely good. have it. I mean, for me, it's a thumbs down because I mean, there is a tiny bit of spice to me, but yeah, it tastes more like a chili than it tastes like a pizza. Okay. Or either that or the pepperoni is really strong. I gave it a thumbs up. I liked it. Thumbs down for me, guys. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> right? Pizza, Josh? That's not pizza. No, it's not. It's like paprika. It tastes like a chili to me. I don't like it. The aftertaste even no, tastes like that's a sweet chili. For me. Unless that pizza is strong, like like a meat lover's pizza with like no crust. This is strong. Just I don't like it. Now these guys are good. The ketchup. All right, guys. Uh... <laughs> No, that does not taste like pizza. <laughs> no. I don't know what that tastes like. You know what? No. You know what it really tastes like? It tastes like the olives, the onion, and the peppers on a pizza. They chopped it up, put it in water, drained everything from it, and gave me the water. It tastes like that. what the water would taste like. <laughs> Try it. I don't want... Butter I wouldn't give it again. I, thumbs down for me. Butter cover for all the dog dog doesn't even like it. So you know she's running away to go eat it and, oh. and hiding. Oh. Yes, you liked it. Thumbs, it. thumbs down for me. Thumbs up for me on that. Butter cup thumbs, thumbs up for me. I liked it. I didn't like it at all. It doesn't have pizza flavor. It tastes at like all. I'm eating the pizza topping water. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you. So they cleaned it, and that's what they left over. No, see what it is is this is how you think you're going to look when you're eating it, and then this is how you. Really yes, look. that's why it's mind blowing. Accurate. So now we're gonna go around. Put it back to you guys. What was your favorite thing, John, on the menu? I'm really torn between two things. I really liked the uh, cinnamon cookies, and I really liked the pretzels. Hold up your favorite one. What was your favorite? I am a sweet and sour kind of person. For me, it was the apple. What's your favorite? The ketchup, the ketchup? in a box. The ketchup <laughs> in a bag. 
I am a I love chili and lime. I don't know why. I just love it. That's one thing they send us a lot of chili lime stuff. I love it. Same I can't like get they, enough of it. Same like they were a fan of the wafers. Yeah, definitely. Because I mean, even those had the texture of the wafers. The, the pizza things had a yeah. wafer like texture. Mm. All right, guys, we might try this one more month. I think we should keep on going with it. That. You think so far? Because I want to. If we don't do, if we don't do it again next month, we could stop it this month. I've liked, I've liked the last two months. The first month I didn't like. The UK didn't like. Thailand was second. And this is uh, the third one, Egypt. Yeah, Thailand was really good. It was really good. Um, we're probably going to try it one more month. And then I want to, before we move, or maybe right after we move, we'll do the sodas. Oh. The different types of sodas. <clears throat> There's like uh, 13 or 14, 15 maybe really extreme flavors. That we'll just buy each bottle. They're pretty they're expensive. Weed, they're like they're like five bucks a bottle. So where's that Coca Cola World? Is that at Disney? Yeah, oh. we need to do that. That's at uh, Cracker Barrel has a bunch of different sodas too. Yeah, at uh, uh, you know uh, Epcot. No, uh, Hollywood Studios. Is it? No, 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 no. It's downtown, uh, downtown Disney. Disney. It's only at uh, Downtown Disney now. That's what you do. Do that one time, maybe when it calms down a little bit. We have to go during a weekend. I don't know why. Let's go early and come back. All right, yeah. guys. If you like this content, please let us know. We enjoy it. I love it. We like you. Well, we like this. John Zafiana. He doesn't like uh, certain things like spicy stuff. But uh, we got two, th three spicy things this time. Come on. They weren't really spicy though. Mm -hmm. Nothing's really. No, was you're really right. Spicy. This time it wasn't. But last time I almost died. Yeah. Oh, but that one chip was a bit spicy. Yeah, from Thailand. Ooh, that was that was need to lit you up. After I ate the whole freaking bag, yeah. it lit me up. Yeah, I was crying for my mama. Mm, that's pretty bad. Uh, but yeah, if you guys want to see us do more of this Universal Sum, uh, Universal Yums, or food package ideas, trying different stuff like the sodas or something, I really want to do the sodas. I mean, I mean, it's expensive, but let, just just let us know in the comments below. Tell us if you have an idea of something like this. Just let us know. Yeah. Um, don't forget to like though. Subscribe. Share. Ring the hey, notification, ring notification bell. bell. Not notification thingy. He got it right this time. Yay! Don't forget to hit that because we go live a couple times a month. We go live on Facebook a lot too, so don't don't forget to check out and follow us on Facebook. And we're gonna start doing it on Instagram. Instagram? Yeah. Right. We can alternate. Instagram. Yeah. So as you guys have seen the trailer for our new uh um ghost. Hunt we're going to in November is up, and uh, don't forget to tune in on November 14th at, you want to say 9.30, to be safe? What time well, is it? Well, it starts at 8, but no, they're going to give us a tour. So that's why I said 9.30 to be safe. So we'll, we start, set we'll up. probably go live around 9.30. Yeah, so 9.30, November 14th. Until 2 a.m. Until 2 a.m. Our goal watch. is to go live the entire time. We're going to go live on... Our hodgepodge page and check out Michael Mikey Count Kelton. Uh, he might go live, maybe. So I'll put link down to his stuff down below. But uh, it's been nice, guys. And next month we'll see what happens. All Bye. Right. Bye. Bye. Bye.